Welcome back to the channel, you kooks. Today, we are gonna be reviewing the 2021 gas-powered Sprinter van. And as you can see, we're out here in Brundage, Idaho, uh, enjoying some of the Indy Pass resorts. And we are in quite a predicament here. We're buried in about a foot and a half of snow. So I guarantee you guys are gonna get a good review. You're gonna enjoy this one, so you're not gonna wanna go anywhere. So here we are, we got the van uh, buried deep in snow and it's a cuckoo camper van out of Denver, Colorado. And it's a sweet little van. It was built by Viking Van Customs. It's got a pretty dope little layout. But yeah, this is what we're gonna be testing out. It's one of their rental vans and we're gonna, you know, give it the full test. So first off, we're gonna show you how it kind of handles in the snow and it was dumping on our way up here. <laughs> Digging the van out. We told you we'd put this van to the test. We weren't joking. We're out here. We're heading up to Brundage Mountain. We're gonna camp up there for a few days. And the Sprinter is doing really well in this snow. I've never really driven my Sprinter van in this much snow, but it's doing really well. I don't think it has any special tires on here either, but I haven't had many slips or it's been breaking nice and as if you can see like the conditions are pretty treacherous out here but I haven't had to put chains on and we're heading up to the mountain and it's only getting steeper and rougher but we'll make it and this van is handling great in the snow okay the moment of truth Let's see if we get out of this snow and move on Oh, look at that, guys. You don't need four-wheel drive. Yeah! Easy, okay? <laughs> yeah, that was easy. <laughs> All right, we got Benton behind the wheel. First time van driver. I threw him into some good conditions. Should we have a brake check? Brake check. Brake check. Look at this Sprinter. I oh, we got Sprinters coming up left and right. Probably does much better than this one. But yeah, we're... I got bitten behind the wheel. He did, he's never driven one of these rigs. He's not scared. How's it feel? It feels good. I haven't had it slip out at all yet. But I bet we could make it slip if we want. Ooh. Ooh. That's good. Yeah. No slide at all. Yeah, this van handles great in these icy conditions. So if you're looking at sprinters and you're worried about a two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive, we've had this two-wheel drive and we've been getting it. We went through about eight inches of snow the other day and now it's handling really well on this hard packed icy stuff. So we got about five more hours of drive till we get to the next ski area. So we'll keep you posted on how this bad boy runs out here. We're putting it to the real test. Another nice thing about the gas Sprinter is the prices are cheaper. So the regular is about 30 cents cheaper here at this gas station. So it's another nice thing. We're sending it down the Montana side of Lookout Pass and the van is handling great. I feel like I'm driving my Subaru Outback almost. It handles so nice. But a few things to note, it's got some like some these paddle shifters and it helps to, to shift into a lower gear coming down in some of these crazy grades. I think it's feeling very safe and smooth and I just can't get over how well this van drives. I figured I'd run through some of these features of this van real quick. So first of all, it runs off of the push to start key like all the new vans do. It's kind of annoying once, but you get used to it, it works a little better. So the key just gotta be in here. You just put your foot on the brake, start it up. It's got a pretty awesome steering wheel with nice cruise control settings, uh, volume, and let's hear this system bump. So sound system's all right. It doesn't meet the Van Kooks protocol, but it sounds pretty good. Um, also, it's got 
just a lot of storage so it's got a lot of storage down here for drinks as well as up here it's got these storages on top this is really nice i really like this little secret stash spot again more storage over here and down in here we got the computers more cup holders it's got a lot of room in between the seats which i really like we got stuff full of jackets and it's just got a lot of space even in the cockpit also the seats they have these like multi adjusting points on them they're pretty luxurious they got a nice contour armrest but yeah it's very comfortable this thing drives like a dream i love it i'm really gonna miss it when it goes but it's got the eight inch screen it's got a pretty nice backup camera on it and then you shift into gear with this uh shifter you push the button to put it in park shift it into your proper gear there's reverse there's the camera it's kind of nice you can turn your wheel and it steers the tires there it is the base model so it doesn't have the awesome above the van view but it's got a few different views if you can see there But yeah, the backup camera is super nice. It's very helpful. Like I said, we're in the base model. Then you just shift this little guy and you just push the button and put it into park. And as you can see, it's a very fresh van. We haven't put, we've only put almost 2,000 miles on it. Steering wheel feels very nice. Yeah, an all out comfort, comfort is great like i said it is the base model so it doesn't have all the bells and whistles but it's got enough like i would love to have this fan for myself heater is controlled here you kind of just spin these knobs to let the air out and then shut it off to cut it off we even have nice hands-free telephone here in the futuristic 2021 models say hi danny hi, hi. You heard I was just on the phone. Just gonna run through this uh, menu here. So it's got a bunch of cool things. It's got a nice navigation. I did not know that. It's got radio. There's your media, it's hooked up to my phone. It's got just some general info. Engine, consumption. I don't know why it says 2.4 miles per gallon. You even got your owner's manual on there. It's got some apps. And settings, this is where you can turn off all the stuff. Assistance, I mean, it's got a bunch of cool stuff. I'm not gonna run through everything. And then another cool thing is, it's got this like menu here and you can kind of scroll. So you see I got there on the dash, I can scroll through, I can do my assistance. That's my lane assistance. I can do the trip. So there's miles, there you go. So there's our fuel consumption, how we've been doing. We drove this van almost 60 hours on this trip, 11 days, 60 hours of driving. So I think this is a thorough test drive for you guys. And yeah, it's just got a bunch of cool stuff. You got all these navigations even on your steering wheel. So I'm really digging all the features this van has. We got the van out on the highway now. We're cruising at about 80 miles an hour. It is incredibly windy out here in Idaho on I-85. I don't know if that's the uh, Idaho norm, just getting absolutely blasted by wind heading west, but the van is handling the wind very well. It's It's got this like lane assist feature and it kind of helps you know when you're coming in and out of the lanes. And another thing is, as far as gas mileage goes, we've been driving into the wind for almost 700 plus miles, and we've gotten about 18 miles to the gallon in this uh, gasoline sprinter. It handles great on the freeway. I mean, it's so easy to drive. I wish this was my van. I'm loving it. My Benton's been driving most of this trip, and he says it handles like an SUV, and it really does. It's, just cruises so nice.
All right, you kooks, I think that's the most thorough uh, review you're gonna see of the Sprinter on the internet. We really put this thing through the ringer. Uh, like and subscribe if you like this content, and we will be back with more. We're gonna show you how we stayed warm in this bad boy in sub-zero temps next, so stay tuned.